Good day everyone. Today we will be discussing the angle pairs and perpendicular lines. So in this lesson, we will be discussing the complementary angles, supplementary angles, linear pair, and vertical angles. So let's begin with complementary angles. Complementary angles, these are the two angles whose sum measures exactly 90 degrees. So notice in our definition, we are dealing with the pair or angle pairs. So we have two angles whose sum measures exactly 90 degrees. So if we're going to get the sum of the two angles, the sum must be 90. You will also encounter this symbol. We have the perpendicular line symbol. And that symbol means right angle. We know that right angle measures exactly 90 degrees. Okay? To better understand the complementary angles, let's have this illustrative example. Find measure angle ABC using this illustration. So we have a perpendicular line here. That means the sum of the two angles here is equal to 90 degrees. So we're going to find A, measure angle A, B, C. So this angle, measure angle A, B, C. We have the 35, which is the measure of C, B, D. Now to get measure A, B, C, we just need to substitute to get measure angle ABC, 90 minus measure of angle CBD, CBD, and 90 minus measure angle CBD, it's 35. Now, 90 minus 35, that is 55 degrees. Okay. Now, if you want to check your answer, just substitute 55 plus 35, that is equal to 90. Next example. Let's say we have this illustration. So we have angle KLN. The sum or the measure of angle KLN is 90 because we have a perpendicular line here. Now, we're going to find N and measure angle KLM. So N and measure angle KLM. In the given, we have the measure MLN, which is 28 degrees. So let us find first the measure of N. So N we know that if we're going to add 2n plus 10 plus 28, their sum is 90. Okay. Now, solve for n. So we have 2n is equal to uh, plus 10 plus 28, that is 38, is equal to 90. So for n, so 2n is equal to 90. Addition property of equality. That will become subtract negative 38 or plus negative 38. So we have 2n is equal to 90 minus 38. That is 90 minus 38, 52. Finally, to get n, we need to divide by 2. So our n is 52 divided by n, 26. 26. So the value of n is 26. Now, we need to get the measure angle KLM. KLM. We know that KLM is equal to 2n plus 10. Since we have the value of n, so just substitute 2 times n is 26, copy plus 10. 2 times 26, 
that is 52. Don't forget, plus 10, so that is 62 degrees. 62 degrees is the measure of angle KLM. If you want to check if your answer is correct, just substitute 62 plus 28. Is it equal to 90? So 62 plus 28. So 10 carry 1, 90. Yes, it is equal to 90. Therefore, your answer is correct. So that's the complementary angle.